an activist who fought for the Niger Delta was hanged to death in Nigeria. Welcome to History Lane on Hedge TV Nigeria. For more content on Nigerian history, click on the subscribe button. This is the story of Ken Sarawiwa, who fought for the Niger Delta and how he was hanged with eight other activists. Kenule Shorten as Ken Sarawiwa was an environmental activist, author, and television producer. He was born in Bori, a small town in the Niger Delta, on the 10th of October. 1941. His father, Jim Wiwa, was a chief of the Ogoni people, an ethnic minority in the Delta region. He received the honorary title Saru, meaning eldest son. In the 1950s, Wiwa witnessed the initial entrance of foreign oil companies and the beginning of the extraction of crude oil in the Niger Delta region. Excelling in school at a young age, he left the Niger Delta to attend the government college in Umaya, in eastern Nigeria. On a scholarship to study English, he attended the University of Ibadan, where he received an honors where he received an honors degree in English. At Ibadan, he plunged into academic and cultural interests. He won the departmental prizes in 1963 and 1965, when he worked for a drama troupe. The traveling drama troupe performed in Kano, Bini, Ilori, and Lagos, and also collaborated with the Nottingham Playhouse, Nottingham Playhouse Theatre Group that included a young Judy Dench. He briefly became a teaching assistant at the University of Lagos and later at the University of Nigeria, Unsuka. He was an African literature lecturer in Unsuka when the Civil War broke out. Wiwa was there when the Nigerian Civil War began in 1967 and for the duration of the war, he supported the Nigerian opposition to the Biafrans. He supported the federal government and had to leave the region for his hometown at Buri. On his journey to Portacot, he witnessed the multitudes of refugees returning to the east a scene he described as a sorry sight to see. Three days after his arrival to Boni, it fell to federal troops. He and his family then stayed in Boni. He traveled back to Lagos and took a position at the University of Lagos, which did not last long as he was called back to Boni. Despite his opposition to the Civil War, Wiwa was appointed administrator of the oil depot at Boni Island in the Niger Delta in 1968. In 1969, he became the regional commissioner for education in the River State Cabinet, but was dismissed from his position in 1973 after he began calling for autonomy for the Ogoni people. His writings became increasingly political, bringing national and international attention to the Ogoni struggle. During the mid-1980s, we were primarily concentrated on writing, publishing, and television production. His first book, Souza Boy, a novel in rotten English, published in the year 1985, was a fictionalized, fictionalized account of the, of the corrupt Nigerian army during the Civil War. 
It tells the story of a naive village, village boy recruited to the army during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970 and intimates the political corruption and also patronage in Nigeria's military regime of the time. In 1989, he released his war diaries in a book titled On a Darkling Plain. This book documents his experience during the war. He wrote two novels that explore, explore the position of women in Nigerian society, Adaku and Other Stories, published in 1989, and Lemona's Tale, published post almost, almostly in 1996. We were additionally tried his end in television. He produced a popular series called Bassi and Company that ran from 1985 until 1992. This series is popular with this series was popular with an estimated audience of 30 million but was cancelled by the military dictatorship. In the early 1970s, he served as the Regional Commissioner for Education in River State. In the late 1970s, he also established a number of successful, successful business ventures in retail and real estate. During the 1980s, he concentrated primarily on writing, journalism, and television production. In 1977, he became involved in the political arena, running as a candidate to represent Ogoni in the Constituent Assembly. He lost the election in a narrow margin. It was during this time he had a fallout with his friend Edward Kobani. His intellectual work was interrupted in 1987 when he re-entered the political scene, scene. Having been appointed by the newly installed dictator, Ibrahim Babangida, to aid the country's transition to democracy. But he resigned because he felt Babangida's supposed plans for a return to democracy were disingenuous. His sentiments were proven correct in the coming years as Babangida failed to relinquish power. In 1993, Babangida annulled Nigeria's general election that would have transferred power to a civilian government, sparkling mass civil unrest and eventually forcing him to step down, at least officially, that same year. By the early 1990s, we were shifted its focus from literature and television to issues of human rights and environmental preservation, particularly in his home region, Ogoniland, the center of crude oil extraction by multinational corporation operating in Nigeria. He established and led the movement for the survival of Ogoni people which is called Musop, and relatedly the campaigns against the Royal Dutch Shell Company, demanding that the company share the profits of oil extraction. In January 1993, we were and Musop led a series of peaceful matches in which an estimated 300,000 Ogoni people participated. For the first time, the matches drew significant international attention to the plight of the Ogoni. After a series of arrests in 1992 and 1993, Wiwa was among nine Ogoni human rights and environmental activists who were tried in a kangaroo court by the military government of General Sonny Abacha 
and on November 10, 1995. The Royal Dutch Shell Company was implicated in the execution of Ken Sarawiwa and on June 8, 2009, the company agreed to a settlement of $15.5 million ending a series of lawsuits that accused it of financing and providing logistical support for the execution. Despite the settlement, Shell denied any connection to the death of Ken Sarawiwa. The names of the eight activists hanged with Wiwa are Saturday Dobe, Nodu Awo, Daniel Boko, Paul Levara, Felix Nwatz, Barry Bobera, Barry Nem Kyobe, and John and John Poin. He was married to Maria and had five children who grew up with their mother in the United Kingdom while their father remained in Nigeria. His children include Ken Wiwa and Nusaru Wiwa, both journalists and writers, and also Nus twin sister called Zina Saru Wiwa, a journalist and a filmmaker. In addition, he had two daughters with another woman called Singto and Adele. He also had another son, Kwame Sarawiwa, who was only one year old when he was executed. The Ken Sarawiwa Foundation was established in 2017 to work toward improved access to basic resources such as electricity and internet for entrepreneurs in Port Harcourt. The association funded the Ken Junior Award, named for Saru Wiwa's son, Ken Wiwa, who died in October 2016. The award is presented to innovative startup technology companies in Port Harcourt. The governor of River State, then, Ezenwo Nelson Wiki, renamed the River State Polytechnic after Saru Wiwa. Anston Dam also named the street after Sarawiwa, which is called the Ken Sarawiwa Street, among others. His death provoked international outrage and the immediate suspension of Nigeria from the Commonwealth of Nations, as well as the calling back of, na of many foreign diplomats for consultation. The United States and other countries considered imposing economic sanction don't forget to click on the like button you can also comment down below and share this video with your loved ones this is edutv nigeria